England faced the recently formed Wales futsal squad in a home nations clash at the Point Four in Hereford. After their defeat against Turkey earlier this month, England are back and ready to prove they deserve a place in the UEFA European Futsal Championship. We've got a strong squad today and the way we're going to set it up is it's a last chance for them to show me that they can cope with a little bit of pressure because it's a, it's a home international. Um, it's a game that we want to and need to perform well in, so they've got to respond in the right way. But I think if they show those qualities, that's exactly what we're going to need in two weeks' time. Although Wales are a less experienced side, they weren't going to make it easy for the home team, trying to make a name for themselves in futsal. They have nothing to lose and can use the pressure of the home nation's match to their advantage. I think they've come a long way in a very short period of time. We're going to pay them the utmost respect um, because I know their staff, um, I know of some of their players, so we're not going to underestimate them at all. With both sides eager to get on the score sheet, the pace was quick from the start. England pushed forward and dominated, but the Welsh defence worked hard to keep them out of the goal. Captain Luke Ballinger made this great effort, only to hit the post. As the half progressed and still no goal in sight for either team, play got a little frantic, but Daffy Jones in the Welsh goal was outstanding. <laughs> Wales called a timeout, and with some magic words from Welsh manager Richard Gunny, following the restart, they put England's defence under pressure. With the clock ticking, England stepped up the attack, making Jones work hard between the sticks. And it was five minutes before half-time when England's Stuart Cook broke the deadlock with this belter of a goal. <laughs> Wales were raring to go after the break and were determined to get even but England's Curtis Holmes denied their efforts. Wales kept the pressure up, but the more experienced England side were ready for them and kept hold of their lead. The three Lions stepped up their game and broke through the Wales defence many times, although frustratingly their efforts were in vain. Time and again they tested the visitors' defence, but neither side could finish. Daffy Jones pulled out more great saves to keep England at bay. As the minutes ticked by, the game became heated. England showed their prowess, but still no goals were scored. In the final minutes of play, Wales made one last attempt to get that elusive goal. Final score, England 1, Wales 0. Wales put up a good fight, uh, if I'm honest. Uh, they've, they're at a stage where we probably were a few, a few years ago. Um, they're developing and they put up a good fight against us. They defended deep, which was hard to break down and um, I think we came for it in the end. You know, it would have been nice if we scored a few goals, but in fairness, you know, Dafford had a, a pretty good game in net for Wales, so you know, we'll take the, take the win and look forward to next week. Uh, I was very busy, um, but I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. We're pretty young. Uh, we've been going together now for about a year, and I think England's been 
together for about six, seven years, so uh, I think we held our own and then we had opportunities at the end to win the game as well. Uh, this is our sixth ever international futsal game and um, we've been extremely close in every game so far. You know, one nil, a very narrow defeat is, uh, is a bitter pill to swallow, but at the same time, there'll be a lot of positives to take from it, I'm sure. They were very well organised, uh, they knew what they were doing, uh, but we expected that. Uh, they've obviously just qualified for the Euros, uh, we knew that, we knew it was going to be a big test, but uh, I think we came in and like I said, showed that Wales are the sort of force on the futsal scene. Well, we go over to Turkey uh, a week on Monday uh, for the Euros, next round of the qualifiers. It's going to be difficult. We're playing against teams ranked a long way above us uh, and teams that have been to Euros semi-finals and, and done well before. So it's going to be a stern test, but I think if we come together as a team and do exactly what we did before, um, we can go uh, and take the next step again.